Across the US, people are facing criminal charges for rescuing sick and neglected animals. These trials are paving the way to animal personhood. Let's back up. Have you heard of the right to rescue laws that give people the right to rescue dogs overheating inside hot cars? 14 US states have passed these laws to provide protection, civilly and criminally, for people who rescue dogs in imminent danger. At Direct Action Everywhere, we are working to extend this right to rescue animals of any species from situations of distress, even if they're trapped not in a hot car, but in a factory farm or an animal experimentation facility. And we are making great strides. In a groundbreaking trial in October 2022, two animal rescuers were found not guilty on felony burglary and theft charges for rescuing Lily and Lizzie, two piglets they found dying on the floor of a factory farm owned by Smithfield Foods, the largest pig killing company in the world. This was the first time in history that open rescue activists were acquitted in a court of law, but it won't be the last. There are four more animal rescue cases expected to go to trial this year, where people are facing jail or prison sentences for rescuing sick or neglected chickens, cows, ducks, and dogs. These cases are happening across the US, and if we can win over juries in California, New York, and Wisconsin, like we did in Utah, that series of acquittals would embolden the animal rights movement and open the floodgates to more open rescues happening across the country. That kind of momentum and rising public support could inspire legislators to pass right to rescue legislation, or higher courts could get involved and enshrine the right to rescue in case law. And here's why that would start a domino effect. Our laws currently consider animals property. If they're abused, they can't seek justice. They have no standing in our legal system. And that's despite the fact that we have a thing called corporate personhood in the US, which means that corporations can be considered people under the law. So why not animals who are actually sentient beings? Animal rights advocates are working to transform the way that animals are seen from mere things to individuals who deserve rights. We saw that change happen in the courtroom in the Smithfield trial, as even the judge and prosecutors started referring to the rescued piglets by their names, Lily and Lizzie. And winning the right to rescue can create that transformation not just in people's hearts and minds, but in the law. Because if animals can legally be rescued from places that harm them, then clearly they have some rights that those places are violating. This is the theory behind the right to rescue. It's why we do open rescues, where we show our faces and we dare the authorities to charge us for doing what we know is right. And when we go to trial, we see these cases as an opportunity to tell the stories of rescued animals and to advance the right to rescue, as a first step to recognizing that non-human animals deserve the same basic rights that human animals do. Ultimately, we're working towards an animal bill of rights, which we call Rose's Law, named for one very resilient rescued hen. The right to rescue is just one of five planks of Rose's Law, and we think it's the one we're most likely to win first, which means it can pave the way to these other rights, like the right to be free and not to be killed. The industry and government know how powerful these right to rescue cases are, in direct response to the acquittal in the Smithfield trial, Utah legislators with ties to the Farm Bureau introduced House Bill 114 to rewrite Utah's theft statute to prevent any defendant from raising a defense that their actions were necessary to save an animal who was sick, injured, or a liability to the quote, owner. This anti-rescue bill highlights just how broken our current system is. As the open rescue movement grows, so will the backlash we face. We can't be deterred. Even if some of these trials end with convictions or prison sentences, we are going to need a lot more wins and losses along the way to establishing the legal right to rescue animals from abuse. We've got a long way to go, but with your help, we'll get there faster. Please add your name and learn more at righttorescue.com.